I remember it well. Before I was baptized, the pastor had asked me, do you have any more questions? Just one, I said. The Bible says that he will make an utter end of it. Affliction will not rise up a second time. That verse refers to the end of sin and suffering in the universe. Yes, and my question was why? If Lucifer had free choice in heaven and he chose to reject an eternal loving relationship with his creator, then why wouldn't someone somewhere else in the universe sometime in the future, perhaps 10 years or even a million years down the line, decide to do the same thing? So you were asking, if the Bible says affliction will not rise up a second time, is that because God won't ever allow anyone to make that choice to reject him? Yes. In other words, why wouldn't he just take away our freedom of choice? And the pastor said this, because God is love, love cannot be forced, so you will always have the power of choice. But the reason why sin will never happen again is because you will be there. And if someone somewhere in the universe ever got it into their head that they would rather live apart from God, then Jesus would come to you and tap you on the shoulder and say, hey Mike, can you come with me and have a chat with one of my children over here? He doesn't understand that sin causes people to be afraid and selfish, greedy and cruel, exploitive and untrustworthy. So please, could you have a conversation with him and let him know what sin did to your life? That makes a lot of sense. God will not force. He will say, come, let us reason together. And when the Bible says, you are my witnesses, that I am the Lord, that means even in heaven, we will be God's witnesses. And if anyone who hasn't had to experience sin thinks that sin is perhaps a good idea, what we have had to endure because of sin will be the biggest deterrent. Actually, the biggest reason why no one will ever choose to sin again is because Jesus will eternally bear the scars from being nailed to the cross. And if someone asks him, what are these wounds on your body? He will answer, the wounds I was given at the house of my friends.